Now let's see. Can I go to Oasis yet? Hmm. Sir Frozen Queen. That's Ed Twal's dad. All right, I think I can find him in Mother Green. Let's see. Where would I find him? Anyone here know where I might find Mr. Rosen Queen? <laughs> Galonzo looks like he's a cross between a sloth and a warthog. That guy is just plain ugly. Well, that's mean. Sloths and warthogs are cute. When I think about how our queen feels, it breaks my heart. Hmm. It's the first helpful thing someone said, but he's like, you know that hillbilly that hangs around here? A bunch of cats kidnapped him. I overheard them talking about taking him back to Berg's restaurant. What hillbilly are they talking about? Well, it's a lead. You guys again? Meow. Miss Meow isn't here today, so no punishment today. Meow. If I fight with you guys, I'll get hurt again. Meow. A man from Oasis disappeared suddenly. Meow. What are you doing here? Are you here to help me? Yes. But I'm so worried about Lady Etoile. She said that she was going to find the people who disappeared, but no one has seen her for quite some time now. Oh, will you please go find Lady Etoile? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. But please be careful. I don't think I could live with myself if you disappeared too. Here's the key to the Anodium Mine. I acquired the key. Alright. Well, I guess talking to people in Mother Green paid off. Alright. Oasis. Is this where she sings that song? What is this place? It looks like ruins to me. That huge metal box must be the same too. Ooh, another dungeon. This one's green. What well, kind of a chartreuse, I guess? Cornette, did you hear something? Huh? I don't hear anything. Really? What am I hearing? Shh! I do hear something! Uh, something is coming this way! Is this the monster that the people in town were talking about? Uh, let's not wait to find out. Y yeah, I agree. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm the mayor of this town, the town of Wiggle. Welcome. So many people were swallowed by the worm, we decided to build a town. I got swallowed by a worm? In here, we don't have to worry about the pressures of the outside world. We can live our lives the way we want to. You'll begin to understand how great this place is. I hate it that I can't take a bath here. Not that it matters, though. It smells so bad here, you can't tell anyway. You're new here, aren't you? Well, you ain't the only one. A girl about your age dropped in, too, just a few days ago. I bet that's Etoile. The new girl has been nothing but trouble since she got here. She better get used to the way we live in here, otherwise she'll go nuts. 
I've been living here for three years. I know everything there is to know about this place. We've known each other since we were children and eventually fell in love. You sure have a nice collection of puppets. I'll be glad to fix them for you when they break. We were the first couple to have a baby inside the worm. He has given us hope. Do you know what the sun looks like? I've heard lots of stories about it. Huh? Are you talking to me? I don't know you. <gasps> Cornette? Oh, <laughs> hello, Cornette. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Were you eaten by the big worm? I figured as much. Then what are you doing here? I, I, uh, I got tired of walking. That's it. You know, I'm so used to riding carriages, so I'm not used to walking. Oh, my. Ha, ha, ha. You'd think I'd be used to this by now. Anyways, we should get out of here. Get out? <laughs> Good luck. Why is that? The only way to get out of here is to kill the worm itself. This worm has three hearts, a right, left, and its primary heart. When you destroy the primary heart, the worm will die. But you'll have to destroy the right and left hearts at the same time. At the same time, understand? Yeah, yeah. That means you can't do it alone. Why don't you try to get the townspeople to help you get out? Not that it will do you any good. <laughs> I'll do anything to protect my lady. I was prepared for anything, but I wasn't expecting a gigantic worm. Lady Etoile has nothing to fear with me around. I'll protect my lady by any means necessary. My mom would be so happy if she could see me now. That's if I get out of here. Lady Etoile was mad at the world just a little while ago. I wonder why. It took me a while to get used to this place. Leave? I can't put my child in danger by trying to get out of here. I saw Lady Etoile duking it out with the worm. Did I help her? No way. I was just watching her get her butt kicked. I thought Lady Etoile was going to snap. I once saw her pounding against the inner wall of the worm with a stick, screaming all the while to let her out. What's so bad about this place? Everyone else seems to like it. You gotta get used to the environment. Lady Etoile tried to stop the worm recently. Not that I care or anything. You can just forget about getting out of here. Life is great here, so why would we want to risk our lives for nothing? Etoile just kept going on and on about getting out of here. I don't know why, though. It's not like it's bad here or anything. You want to get out of here? Why would you want to do that? Other than the smell, it's great here. Huh. So literally no one wants to help me. So, do you understand now? They've given up. I thought about doing something about the situation first, but after seeing them, I started not to care. At twelve. Then you're no different from them. Say whatever you want. If the people here don't care, then why should I stick my neck out for them? Why should I do it alone? That's true, but... Oh, is this when she sings the song? It totally is. It's okay, you can say I'm afraid to in the same way. I give up hope, I just can't cope, can't give my all much longer. You're not alone, so just hang on. You might 
must try to be stronger. You can overcome life's ups and downs. You can turn your life around. That's the meaning of true courage. So please remember. Don't you ever give up trying Be courageous, keep on striving Fly to the stars You can have hope for tomorrow So let's hold hands with one another We can both take one step further Dreams can come true Deep inside, find the strength that keeps your dreams alive. Courage? Yeah. Huh? Wipe that stupid look off your face. Your song didn't make me change my mind. I, uh, I, I was ready to go anyway, if you're willing to help. Yes, I was just testing you to see if you were worthy to fight alongside me. You've passed the test, I guess. Well, do you want my help or not? Yes. Do you desperately need my assistance? Yes. Uh, let me think about it. No. Do you think you can get me to help you by asking me like that? You don't sound too motivated. Do you really desperately need my assistance? Yes. All right, Cornette. I guess I can't say no to a friend in need. I'll help you. I'll take the left heart, you take the right heart, okay? Make sure you destroy it on the sixth turn, okay? On the sixth turn. Got it? I got it. Let's go. Yes, Lady Etoile. <laughs>